guys, welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Nerf Instrike Elite Rough Cut 2x4. This is the brand new shotgun style blaster that Nerf has released. And actually Nerf hasn't released this one yet, technically, but they're showing up in Toys R Us's all over the United States. And finally got one in mine after I've uh, been waiting for like 2-3 weeks, checking almost every day. And we finally paid off and we finally have them in stock. So I picked up a couple of them and we're going to just be undoing doing the unboxing video. This is the last of the Elite unboxings until I get a stockade, which I have to order from the UK. So, um, other than that one, this is the last new blaster from the Elite series, and we're going to be just going ahead and showing you some of the features and such of this item, and I guess we can get started. So, first thing is the box. It's a fairly long box, however, it's not very wide or thick, I guess you could say. Uh, just a standard advertisement, 75 feet, Nerf and Strike Elite. Uh, this is kind of an interesting one, they call it the Rough Cut 2x4, and the reason for that is for the way the blaster fires, however, it's a name that most we haven't ever actually seen before, a 2x4 or anything like that. Uh, also, it features the new logo for the Blast 2 darts at once, which the only other blaster that was able to do this was the uh, Barrel Break, which was the original shotgun, I guess you say, from Nerf, and the Hornet, which technically was an air blaster, and how it worked and all that stuff. So it's one of the few that can actually fire two darts at one time. Uh, it's called the Multi-Shot Madness. On the back, we have just a couple of details. Tactical rail, pump action slam fire, uh, features how the front view, uh, blasting 75 feet, blast two darts at once. We have advertisements for the Strife, the Retaliator, and the Rampage on the back. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox it here for you on camera. This is the first time I've actually gotten my hands on one, so. I'm super excited. It's one of, been one of my most anticipated ones. So go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside. Okay, and that's all that's in the box, so we're going to go ahead and set that to the side. Inside here we have the manual for the rough cut, which is a very simple manual, just showing you the operation of it. We have the rough cut itself, which is amazing looking in my personal opinion. I love the looks of this thing. And then we have the elite darts down here on the bottom. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just open up the blaster itself, which appears to be the uh, standard tape they've been doing recently. So just go ahead and cut the tape on this. And on there, we'll leave that one. Only need to do it to one. So. Go ahead and cut the tape, and then we should be able to pull everything out. We're going to leave the darts for now. We've got our own Elite darts, and I don't feel like taking them out of the package at the moment. So, let's go ahead and pull this out, which is a little bit different now. Uh, the way they've done this, you actually have to fold it, kind of. Tab in the back. Hopefully, we can pull it out here. Okay, so they got tape on everything. And this one should be about the same. Okay, so we got that. Go ahead and pull the rough cut out and set the box to the side. So, let's grab ourselves a couple of Elite darts here and see what kind of ranges and such we're getting out of it. Uh, overall, so far, I really like the paint scheme. Again, they've gone with the downward stripe towards the back here. And I'm sorry for the light changing, uh, thanks to the sun. Um, but it's gone with this really cool white line down the side. My blaster has really, really bad, I guess you could say, paint on it. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's actually overlapped up here on like a mess up or something. Not too big of a deal because I'm going to be beating the, uh, this thing to pieces probably. But overall it has a really, really comfy handle, uh, which is, sounds really strange, but it's a really weird angle, yet it feels really comfortable. Uh, trigger is very short trigger pull. We've got a sling mount on the front, or excuse me, the back and the handle. Uh, the prime on this is very easy. It's a, do I have a dry part here? Uh, it's a, like a two-stage prime almost. It locks back once there and again there, then you can push it forward. And we're going to go ahead and slam fire it here, dry fire. Okay, so it's pretty standard slam fire action. Loads up here in the front. And as you can see, this is a lot thinner than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little bit wider. Uh, we got a tactical rail on the top, so, and I think that's pretty much all the features. So we're going to go ahead and load it up with our eight elite darts. Uh, this has a, some of these darts have very, very tight barrel fit, which is really good. Uh, should help with the accuracy and ranges. 
like that one. That was, it's really, really tight barrel fit, which is should help quite a bit. Obviously, I just said that, but uh, so far, uh, loading is not the easiest thing, obviously. I'm doing a little at an awkward angle here, but it's not the easiest thing. We're going to go ahead and prime it and see if we can do the two-stage barrel pull or firing here. Okay, that's two. Just punching them off pretty uh, easy there. We'll go ahead and fire both of these at the same time. Wow, that got some really good ranges. Uh, go ahead and fire. We're going to fire these and then slam fire the last ones. Okay, so go ahead and load it up one more time here and we'll slam fire them all. Now this feature is the uh, new style of air restrictor that allows it to only fire from this the barrel. So we've gone ahead and loaded it one side and as you can see it fired the top barrel. We're going to go ahead and remove this one and see if it dry fires which it doesn't. However, this barrel, this one actually came out, which was kind of interesting. We're gonna try that again. Okay, it didn't do it that time, but for some reason that last one actually fired out. So that's kind of interesting. Overall, it's really nice. Uh, slam fire is very smooth on it. And should be able to pump some darts downrange pretty easily. Overall, I'm definitely impressed. Um, obviously, it's not the most, uh, I guess you could say efficient or uh, I'm not sure the correct term for it. It's not the one you're going to want to just have, you know. Obviously, a lot of them are way better and way more efficient. However, it's a lot of fun. Um, obviously, it's awesome to have a shotgun. It would work great as a sidearm as long as you don't mind it being a little bit bulky. Overall, I'm definitely impressed. I think it looks amazing. I love the look of it, and we'll be getting a few more videos up on this as soon as possible. I apologize for the delay on the range test. They are coming, however... Um, it's been very windy here in the past couple of days, and I haven't, I just haven't gotten a chance to get any kind of range test done. I'll be getting those out as soon as possible. But overall, I'm definitely impressed with it. So thank you guys for watching. This has again been the unboxing video for the Nerf Instrike Elite Rough Cut 2x4. Um, you can find these at some of your local stores. They should be coming out pretty soon here um, in most stores and overseas. They should be out in the next couple of months. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash nice to me too. Or excuse me, sorry. Facebook.com slash nerf to me too. And you can check out uh, any kind of updates we'll put, be putting over there. Or you can leave your questions over there as well. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this has helped. And have a nice day.